Aloha folks, geology professor Sean Wilsey here on the Big Island of Hawaii, exploring some of the area's geology. I'm on the Helena Poly Road and I was out here to do a different video. And as I parked the Jeep and started to look around, I realized there's something incredible that's just happened here. Today is January 3rd. Let me show you what I discovered here as I was going to check out a different spot. So as soon as I stepped out of the Jeep, the first thing I noticed uh, on this landscape were all these rocks on the ground. Now these aren't just regular rocks, all these kind of black to golden brown chunks of material are a really unique rock with a really cool story. This is actually a rock called reticulite. Let's see if we can get that kind of zoomed in there so you can see all the little bubbles inside of this. What I can't convey over the video is that this thing weighs nothing. This rock feels like I'm holding a couple sheets of paper. It's so much pore space uh, that it's just incredibly light. And it's all over the ground. Like everywhere you look here, you see pieces of this reticulite. Here's a bigger one right here, just to give you a sense of the size here. So these are you know, uh, almost, I guess, volleyball size in terms of their actual uh, size. But again, they just weigh nothing. So being so lightweight and porous, they're incredibly fragile. I mean, you step on one, you just sort of pulverize the whole thing. So the presence of these at this location indicates that they were deposited pretty recently because reticulite doesn't really last very long on the landscape, especially uh, here in Hawaii where they get quite a bit of rain. So that means that this reticulite fell out of the sky as tephra. The, uh, the volcanic vent for Kilauea is pretty much this way. And so that material was carried up into the sky, blown in by the wind, and then just blanketed this landscape we see here. And this was from episode 38 of Kilauea's eruption. So these rocks that are blanketing the landscape are less than a month old. They would have fallen out of the sky on December 6th of this past year. Um, but they're just kind of everywhere. It looks like they managed to get them off the road. Here's even one, oh my gosh, here's even one here in the tree. So there's even a, a piece of reticulite here um, wedged in the branches of this ohia tree. Pretty remarkable, but you can find them uh, all over the place on the ground here. Uh, let's see if we can see, oh, here's another one uh, on this bush, actually two pieces here. There's one right here, and then there's a small piece right here of uh, more black type material, a less, little less uh, porous, although it's incredibly lightweight. This feels like I'm holding just, again, just uh, a few pieces of paper or just, uh, I guess, like a foam sponge would be another good example of what this stuff might look like. We can see how large some of the particles are here. Uh, this one right here, about as big as my hand. There's a lot here down on the ground. And let's find some of what else should have fallen out of the sky as well, not just these big pieces of reticulite. Now this would have been the lava that was being jetted out of the vent, uh, very frothy and gas rich. They would have been ejected out of the vent and then wafted downwind here to this area along the roadway. Here's some more pieces here. And what we should also find here, in addition to uh, these pieces of reticulite and tephra, so if we come over here and start looking in maybe some of the little nooks and crannies on the ground, we should see also pieces of, let's see if I can get this all, get this in my hand, should be pieces of Pele's hair and Pele's tears. Actually, you can hopefully see some of them in here. Do you see these little thin fibrous pieces? Uh, these are pieces of the Pele's hair, these little needle-like particles here. So these are common when we get these eruptive events that are fountaining lava up into the air is a nice one right here. Let's see if I can find it on the camera. There we go. Yeah, right there. There's a nice one right there coming across the 
the camera there. But yeah, when we get these uh, big lava fountaining events, and I think episode 38 was the one where we had the inclined vent, where we had the, the vent actually change orientation from vertical to maybe like 50 degrees and actually took out the V3 camera that the USGS had um, fixed on the eruptive area. So just fantastic and what a cool surprise. Just, you know, came out here again to film something else and just looking at the landscape here, all these pieces of reticulite, all these chunks of tephra. And it's pretty cool to be able to see this now because uh, again, these pieces of reticulite will get weather broken up. You know, if someone steps on them, um, they get kind of crushed over time. Oh, here's a nice big one here too. Oh, here's a really big one right here, uh, supported by this little chunk of grass. Let's see if we can pull that out. Oh, it kind of fell apart. Wow, that's a big one though. Holy smokes. You can hopefully see some of the cool textures in here. Um, and again, it weighs nothing. This is just like, um, just a piece of, like a sponge, really, just a big piece of foam. Yeah, and then maybe we'll sacrifice one here. They're all gonna get crushed eventually, and uh, just to show you how fragile these are, just, you can just pulverize the whole thing with your hand pretty easily. Crazy stuff. So yeah, the Helena Poly Road here at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Um, you just never know what you're gonna find in this active volcanic landscape. Fantastic. Hey folks, thanks for joining me on this fun little adventure. Who knew, right? I had no idea that we would find tephra from episode 38 down here on this road. I knew it was you know, around the summit area, but did not expect to see that this far away from the vent area. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for your support of the channel and we'll catch you next time. Take care.